Here's a little something you might find useful for Dr. Jellybean. He wanted to know, is it possible to delete keyframes preceding a D4 simulation so that the drape appears on the first frame of my timeline? And sadly, it isn't, but there is a workaround and I'm going to come to that, I'll just go and explain my little setup here. I've got an extremely simple D4 simulation consisting of a ground plane and a sphere, and then I have a D4 sort of cloth object that I've made myself. It's just a subdivided plane, and on it, under the simulation settings, I've given it a dynamic surface modifier. And then the only thing that I've changed here in the DeForce settings is in fact that under simulation duration, I've changed this from current frame to animated use timeline play range. And then I would go, if this is a real life garment, I would go and choose something probably larger than the default 31 frames here on the timeline, because uh, it's likely you might need something like 90, 120, something like that, whatever the scene requires. And then I would just go and hit simulate. And then you can see that the playhead goes through this as D4 simulates this object. And then I can go and move my playhead and essentially pick a frame that I find you know looks the best. Let's say frame 15. So what Dr. Jellybean wants to know is, is there a way that I can just go and delete the preceding keyframes here and then take the last keyframe, the the like the, the drape keyframe, so to say, and move that to the first position? And the answer is no, you can't. And that has to do with the way Dash Studio exposes the D4 simulation data. So you can see that even though I move my playhead, there are no keyframes here. So hence, there, there's nothing to delete. And that's the problem. So the only option that we have is we can go and export my draped frame. Let's say this one is the one I want as an OBJ and then import this as a morph into my cloth object. Then I can go and delete everything from the timeline. I can even go and load this object into a new scene as long as the morph is there. And then on the first frame, I can dial this up. Let me show you how it works. So first thing, we'll pick a drape keyframe here. And then with my cloth object selected, no matter which one that is, if it's a garment or if it's my, my fantasy thing here, then we go into the parameters tab and make sure that under mesh resolution, this is set to base. I only have base, but if you had something different, like a higher resolution, make sure you set that to base. And then you head over to file export. And then I'll just put this on my desktop and I'll call this one drape. And then I'll go and make sure this is set to wavefront OBJ, export that. And the scale doesn't really matter. Let's just use Dash Studio here. And under filtered objects, I'm going to say selected routes. And that is all I'm going to do here, save that out. Now I can literally go and move my playhead over to the first frame. Doesn't really matter where it is. You can delete any keyframes that you have. And then fairly, fairly easy uh, with your cloth object selected, head over to edit object, morph loader pro, and then you go and choose your morph file that we've just exported. So in my case, that is the drape. And up here where it says convert to Dash Studio, make sure it says the same scale that we've had on the previous one. So you want to have this set to Dash Studio. This preset should really be to probably set to none. And in this dialog here, the only thing that you should select is under reverse deformations, set that to yes. So right click on this and set it to yes. And that is really all you need to do. You can change the property group here, but you can also do that later. Override existing if you had that morph already. You can also change that to deltas only, but it doesn't make a difference for now. So I'm just going to go and leave this as it is. Hit accept and we should see this exciting message here, created morph successfully. If you get an error message, then it's likely that you have exported this not at base resolution or that you've exported other objects besides your clothing object. So like clothing plus figure, for example, or clothing plus some attachment, then we don't want to do that. And when just for an export, uh, make sure you select that uh, roots only thing that I've mentioned there. So once we have that on our cloth object under parameters, we have morphs, and then we can go and dial this up. And that is the drape that you previously have had on frame 17. Now notice that when you move the playhead, the simulation data is going to add to the current morph data. So it's either going to be dial up the morph or use the timeline. So, but usually what you want to do is you want to ditch all this information that is on here and just go and use the morph on the first frame and then 
you're golden. I hope this was helpful. It wasn't actually as difficult as you maybe thought it was. And uh, I hope this is going to, you know, solve all your D-Force worries. Thank you for watching.